You say your mother abused you physically and sexually. And this is really important to me. Tell me what happened. She was not well. She was really very, very, very not well. I would say she was possessed, although I'm not sure I believe in such things. Mm -hmm. So I, either she was just a sadist and a pedophile, or she was possessed by the devil. Well, let me work backwards here. When you were eight, you, your parents divorced after a really troubled relationship. And well, there was no divorce in Ireland. They separated. And then what happened was, when the day my father left, we were very upset. My father had built us a shed in the garden, a hut to play in. My mother was so angry at us <clears> for being upset that he left that she said, right, if you love him that much, you can live in the shed. So from the day he left, we were living in the garden for months. Well, when you mean garden, you mean the yard? The backyard. Uh, the backyard. Yeah. It would not be fair for me to discuss anything that she did to my siblings, so I have to only discuss what she did to me. She ran a torture chamber. It was a torture chamber. She was a person who took delight, would smile in, in hurting you. What did she do? Where do I start? At the beginning. My earliest memory, she's telling me that I shouldn't have been born. She didn't want me. She didn't want girls. She wants me to be a boy. She dresses me like a boy. She chops my hair off. Whenever she beats me, which is daily, I'm naked. She makes me take my clothes off. I have to lie on the floor. I have to open my arms and legs. I have to let her attack my abdomen. Um, she wants to birth my womb. She wants to destroy my reproductive. She wants to stop me being a female. She did this to you for how long a period of time? From Was zero, this a zero daily to 13. Thing? So she basically it would be sweeping brushes. She'd be stamping on me with her feet. The phone would ring in the middle of it, and she'd be like, oh, hi, how are you? Her foot would be on my <laughs> naked on the floor. I'm three, four, or five years old. Kindergarten, I win the prize for curling up in the smallest bowl. I remember being about five or so, we were meant to go somewhere for the weekend. She made me put on a dress that used to belong to my sister and the button was missing. She beats the out of me because the button is missing off the dress, takes the dress, takes the light bulb out of my room, locks me in my room, and then everybody leaves for the weekend. She, the type of person, she'd make you get every Bible in the house and every hockey stick. We used to be terrified. The last day of school in the summer was the most unhappy day of our lives. All the other kids would be delighted. We'd be hiding the hockey sticks and the tennis racks and crying because we're stuck with her for the summer. She would invent reasons to beat you up. Like she'd say, the lampshade is crooked. My job was to clean the house. So if I left the lampshade a bit crooked after I dusted it, she'd beat the out of me. Daily, this went on. The only thing you'd be sure of every day is you're going to get the kicked out of you when you hear the steps of her waking up. Literally, me and my brother used to pee our pants. How long did this go on? Till I was 13, I ran away. She used to make me say over and over, I am nothing, I am nothing, while she was beating me. I am nothing? I am nothing, I am nothing. It was a very small toy. After a while, you begin to believe it. In fact, you are nothing. For 38 years, these wounds have been festering within you, and you've never had trauma treatment for this until right now. This was my treatment. I understand. M music 